In this video, we will see how to fine-tune Llama 3.1 using the Clarify platform. Llama 3.1 is the new state-of-the-art model from Meta, available in 8B, 70B, and 405B parameter sizes. Llama 3.1 405B is the first openly available model that rivals the top AI models in general knowledge, steerability, math, tool use, and multilingual translation. The upgraded versions of the 8B and 70B models are multilingual, with a significantly longer context length of 128K and overall stronger reasoning capabilities. The 8B Instruct model is available on the Clarify platform. You can try it out or access it via an API. Instead of using frozen general-purpose LLMs, you can fine-tune models like Llama 3.1 for your specific use cases to achieve better performance and customizability at a lower cost. In this video, we will see how to fine-tune the Llama 3.1 8B Instruct model for your own use case using the platform. One of the best aspects is that you do not need to set up the models or install libraries and get stuck fixing those issues. Everything we do here in this video is no code using the platform. All you need to do is upload your data, select the pre-built Llama 3.1 fine-tuning template, customize parameters such as the number of epochs, quantization, and other settings, and train your model. But before that, if you are new here, let's get a quick introduction to Clarify. Clarify is an AI workflow orchestration platform that helps you quickly build, manage, and orchestrate AI workflows across your organization, reducing the time it takes to go from prototype to production. The platform provides the control to centralize and standardize AI application templates, resources, workflows, and datasets while enabling you to run any model, including foundation models, LLMs, vision models, and custom models. It also facilitates data integration from diverse sources, ensures robust security to protect sensitive information, and allows deployment in any environment, cloud, hybrid, on-premises, and more, scaling automatically and cost-effectively. Now let's get an overview of fine-tuning and why it is necessary. Many use cases where LLMs struggle can be addressed with RAG, retrieval, augmented generation, or prompt engineering techniques like zero-shot prompting, few-shot prompting, and others. You can perform both using the Clarify platform. To learn more, check out the videos in the description on building RAG solutions for your use case and performing zero-shot prompting with LLMs. If these approaches don't meet your objectives, fine-tuning is the next option. Fine-tuning involves taking pre-trained models and further training them on smaller, specific datasets to refine their capabilities and improve performance in a particular task or domain. Fine-tuning is about taking general-purpose models and turning them into specialized models. However, even fine-tuning presents challenges. Ideally, you would fine-tune a model that has already leveraged pre-trained knowledge. Fine-tuning on a completely new domain or language might result in hallucinations, and requires a substantial amount of instructional data and compute resources. Thus, fine-tuning an already trained instruct model is often the best choice for most use cases. Since these instruct models are trained on top of base models to follow instructions more effectively, they don't require much data to be fine-tuned for your use case. Even in this video, we will use the instruct variant of the Llama 3.18b model and fine-tune it for our specific use case. Now, let's consider a use case. I am asking the Llama 3.18b Instruct model to identify the primary emotion expressed in the text. I am deeply saddened by the news. The model's response indicates that the primary emotion is sadness, along with some additional information. But I want the model to respond in a concise JSON format instead where emotion is the key and sadness is the value. Regardless of the question asked, the model should always respond in this simple JSON format. To fine tune the model to respond in this way, I've prepared a CSV file with examples that demonstrate the format used to define the training inputs. It is essential that the examples follow this specific format, which includes the system instruction, input, and target response, along with start and end headers and text IDs. If you look at this example closely, we have the response in JSON format so the model can learn how we want the output. 
All the other examples follow the same format. This format aligns with the requirements of the LAMA 3.1 model, and it is recommended to follow this approach when organizing training data examples for better results. You can find the dataset linked below in the description. Also note the name of the columns, input.data.text.raw. This column will contain the example data, with each row having its own instance. The input.data.concepts.id column is an empty column included to meet the requirements for uploading a CSV file to the Clarify platform. Here, you'll see we have only 11 examples, each containing an instruction, question, and response. But it's recommended to include more examples for better performance. Let's upload this CSV file to the platform and start fine-tuning the model. First, sign up on the platform and log in. This is the page you see when you first open the portal. Let's create a new app. Apps are the basic building blocks for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, predictions, and searches are all contained within applications. Apps also act as your vector database. You can start with a blank app or use the app templates, which are pre-built blueprints that provide a starting point for creating your own applications. Let's create a blank app, provide an app ID and a short description. Select the primary input type, whether it's image or text data. Since we are working with text, make sure to select text. In the advanced settings, you can choose the base workflow and then create the app. Let's leave this to the default text workflow. Here is the app. You can see the inputs, datasets, models, workflows, and modules within the app. This is the input section where you can upload the inputs. Let's upload our CSV file. Add a dataset name and upload the data. I am naming this as Dataset Llama. and then uploading the file. You can see that the CSV file with all the inputs has been uploaded. Now that we've uploaded the data for fine tuning, let's get started. Go to the model section and click the add model button in the upper right corner of the page. You'll see various options, selecting a model from the community, building a custom model, importing a model from Hugging Face, or uploading your own local model. Note that the last two features are only available to enterprise users. Select the Build a Custom Model option and click Continue. Next, choose the type of model you want to fine-tune. You can perform transfer learning or train different visual models such as classifier, detector, segmenter, and others. But since we're focusing on fine-tuning an LLM, select the Text Generator option under the Text-to-Text -text Model Type. Now here, provide a model ID and select the dataset we uploaded for fine-tuning. Also, choose the version of your dataset. If you don't have the version, click here and create the version. Now let's refresh it. This is the version that has been created. Let's select this version. You can also set a tolerance threshold from 0 to 100. This is the percentage of invalid inputs allowed during training. If this threshold is exceeded, training will stop with an error. It's always good to keep this low to reduce invalid inputs. Next, select a pre-configured model template to use for training your data. Here, we'll be selecting the LAMA 3.18B Instruct template. You'll notice there are other templates available such as Llama 2, Mistral, and more. After selecting the template, you can further optimize the training and inference settings to enhance its performance or simply use the default settings provided. Currently, we support training with a single GPU, specifically the A1024GB. However, we are soon launching the option to select multiple GPUs based on your requirements for model training. You can see the model configuration here. We converted it into the Hugging Face Transformers format to enhance compatibility with our platform and pipelines, simplify its use, and optimize deployment in various environments. To maximize the potential of the LAMA 3.18B model, we quantized it using GPTQ quantization. Additionally, we applied the LoRa, 
low rank adaptation method to enable efficient and fast fine tuning. Here's the quantization configuration. The bits specifies the target precision for weight quantization. In this case, compressing the weights to four bits each. This significantly reduces model size and improves inference speed, though there may be some accuracy loss. The use x -lama key determines whether to apply the x -lama optimization technique, which can enhance the quantization process. We also have a PEFT configuration that allows you to adjust settings like inference mode, LoRa alpha, LoRa dropout, PEFT type, rank, and task type. Additionally, the trainer configuration includes parameters such as learning rate and number of epochs. I'll leave these settings at their defaults and start the training process, but you can adjust them based on your specific needs. The model is now training, which will take some time, so I'll fast forward through this part. The model has finished training. It took about 45 minutes considering we're using only a single GPU. Now let's run an inference with this model. Click on the Overview tab. Let's send a request to the model. I'm asking it to generate a response for the same question we asked the LAMA 3.18B Instruct model. You can see it generated the output in JSON format, providing the response as a key value pair. Emotion as the key, sadness as the value. Let's try a different input. I'm asking to translate the English sentence to Spanish. As you can see, it generated the output perfectly. This is the output we intended from the model, which is a JSON response. You can even evaluate the model. Go to the Models Version tab, where you can select the Evaluation dataset and click on Evaluate. You can choose the Evaluation template and then proceed to evaluate the model. We'll cover that in detail in another video. You can also access the model via an API. Click on the Use Model option. From there, under the Call by API section, you'll find multiple options such as Python, JavaScript, Java, Node.js, Curl, and PHP. You can simply copy the code and integrate the model into your applications. Also, keep in mind that we've only used 11 samples in one epoch for fine-tuning. It's recommended to use more samples and adjust the parameters according to your use case. That's how you fine-tune the LAMA 3.18B Instruct model using the Clarify platform. You can also see that the platform allows you to customize the parameters and train the model without needing to code it from scratch. You can create a new Clarify account and start fine-tuning the model. Drop your questions in the comment section or join our Discord channel, link in the description, and share your queries. Thank you for watching and happy fine-tuning.